Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany. Uh, this is my first video. I was talked into this by Colette Sheriff of thebeautysheriff.com and also let underscore seven six on YouTube. She's got a huge following and she's wonderful, so go follow her. Um, I am doing this mainly for hair. Um, I do work at Sephora. I am a licensed cosmetologist and um, absolutely love the beauty industry. I do skincare at Sephora, but I also dabble in color. Um, I get asked a lot about my hair. I get asked who cuts it. Shout out to my hairdresser, Randy. She's wonderful and fantastic, and I just love her. She does exactly what I need with my hair every single time. Um, but after being asked so many times, you know, who I use, what I use, um, what my regimen is, I decided to make a video about it. So um, every morning I shower, I do wet my hair every day. Um, I think it's important just for me because I do have fine hair um, to be able to add that product and um, kind of start from scratch without actually stripping all the oils from my hair every day. So um, when I wash my hair, the mornings I wash my hair, I do use um, Sebastian products. This is called Drench. It's wonderful. This is the shampoo and then this is the conditioner and I absolutely love these. Um, they're great um, for that little added you know, boost of moisture that I need um, in the winter and especially, I mean, in the summer, I, who, who doesn't need moisture living in this climate? Um, so I'll use that everywhere but my crown. On my crown, I use um, Sebastian Volupt. Um, this is the shampoo and then also the conditioner. Um, so I'll use that in my crown area um, just to sort of give my hair that movement, give it the foundation it needs to um, do what I want it to for the next couple of days until I wash it again. Um, so from there, I, um, I rinse it out and then I use cold water to seal the cuticle. It helps with shine and it also helps your hair cooperate um, to sort of straighten and do what you want it to. Um, so sealing the cuticle with cold water is a huge, huge do. So definitely, definitely try it out. See what you think. I love it. Um, from there, I put my hair, oh, I comb my hair through and then um, put it up in a towel until I'm done um, with my face makeup. And then um, I'll take my hair out of the towel and, um, sorry, my dog. <laughs> um, I will take my hair out of the towel and spray Bumble and Bumble Tonic into it. Um, I spray it more on the scalp. It's sort of a scalp treatment. It's a little tingly and I absolutely love it. Um, I bought it in a small size just because I was trying it out. I got it at work and um, I love it. So the next time I buy it, I'm definitely getting the big size because it's great. Um, from there, I use Bumble and Bumble Thickening Spray. Um, it recommends that you use it on your scalp, but you can also use it sort of for all over for a set. Um, and that's what I like. I like my hair to kind of do just what I want it to. Um, so I will spray it all the way through my hair um, and it's wonderful. I really, really like it. Um, it's not too gritty. I've tried products that make my hair gritty when they say thickening, and I don't really want my hair to feel like sand. I just want it to feel, um, I just want it to feel, you know, weightless. So that's what this does. Um, but it also gives me the thickening effects that I, you know, crave. So from there, I use, um, oh, I use this. I use, I'm sorry, S Factor Body Booster. It's a plumping spray. Um, it's meant to be used at your scalp, um, sort of just at the root, and that's how I use it. I use it down the mohawk section of my hair, um, and it's really made a big difference. You do want to shake it up a little before you use it just to kind of activate everything that's inside, and it works fabulously, so I highly recommend that. Um, after that, I used Joyco Joy Whip. I got this at the Pro Store kind of as a sample. Um, I think it may have been a new product when I got it. Um, I'm not sure, but um, I'm not a huge Joyco fan. I just haven't really explored the line. So um, I tried this just out of curiosity, um, just in my mohawk section down the back of my head um, before blow drying. It's, um, it's called a Firm Hold Design Foam, and so I don't know that that's what it's designed for, but because I tease my hair, it helps the it helps give the teas staying power, so I absolutely love that. Um, and then from there, I use Paul Mitchell um, Thicken Up. It's from their Extra Body line. Um, it's clear in um, consistency, and it's kind of like a gel. Um, it irritates my scalp, so I don't use it on my scalp, but I will sort of just use it through the shaft of my hair. Um, not all over, but just um, sort of down the mohawk and in the crown area, um, just so that my hair will get the movement that I want. 
Um, after that, I use KMS Free Shape. I love uh, Free Shape because it speeds up my blow dry but doesn't make my hair greasy. I've tried a couple of different products that um, speed up the blow dry, which is, you know, necessary the mornings that I'm, well, every morning because it saves me time, saves um, the heat from having to be on my hair for an extended period of time, and um, it doesn't make my hair greasy, which is huge. I have tried quite a few products that claim to speed up the blow dry, but they also make my hair feel slimy um, or look gross, and this doesn't do that. Um, now, it is an oil and water emulsion, so it does separate, um, so you have to shake it up before you use it, but I love it. The smell is great, and um, I just love it. It totally speeds up my blow dry. It does exactly what it says it will. Um, and then after that, um, well actually, not after that, after that I blow dry. Um, I will use a round brush sometimes just to sort of give all of this the lift um, and you know, kind of just inspire movement. Um, but the days that I don't wash my hair, I use Kenra Platinum Color Care Dry Shampoo. Um, it smells great, but my only complaint with it is that if you aren't careful enough, you have to shake it and then apply it, but if you're not careful enough with it, um, it will sort of give your hair a white cast. So you have to make sure that you get it only on your scalp. I'm sure blondes don't have to worry about this, but because I'm a brunette and my hair is so dark, um, everything shows up and this dries kind of white. So. Um, I use it just around, just in my, you know, around my scalp. I don't use it at my hairline. I made the mistake of that one time and it's a disaster. So just use it in the areas that are a little more inconspicuous, um, but I absolutely love it. It smells great. Um, otherwise, there, I have no complaints, but I do use this um, on the days that I do wash even just to sort of give my hair a little extra grip sort of through here so that um, my back combing will stay um, and give me a little extra height because dry shampoo is known to do that. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope it was informational. If you have any questions, if you have any suggestions for me, um, if you'd like me to try any products, if there are any products you love um, that you'd like me to try, please, please put it down in the comments. I will put my blog in here. I'll also link um, to Colette's um, blog and vlog channel. Um, but if you have any other questions, if you have any concerns, if you want me to know something, if I you know, mis misrepresented a product, just let me know. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback. So thank you. Have a great day. Bye.